Hello there. Happy 4th of July weekend, you guys. So I'm starting this video with my running gear on, about to go for a run. And I want to make a quick video explaining why I don't hook up, why I don't have a friends with benefits, a hookup buddy, and casual sex and one night stands and all of that. So I'm 60 years old, I'm 5'3", and I'm starting my video like this to show you guys that um, I have a nice body and I'm sure guys would want to smash and I like sex and I like men. So why in the world would I not want to hook up? Okay, so um, let's begin. Really working on these abs. <laughs> All right, let's begin. Enough of that prancing around. Uh, this video is inspired by a comment someone left on my video asking how I feel about a friends with benefits. And I did go into why I don't hook up in that video, but let me make one specifically with that title because it's really important that we start talking more about what we each want out of sex and the differences between men and women. I was raised at a time when I was told girls should not have sex. Uh, that we were bad and we were judged and we were told we shouldn't. So I think as a like counterpoint to that revolution of women shouldn't enjoy sex, uh, we have come out, a lot of women, as we can have sex too. We want to be sexual, sexually liberated. And, you know, with the pill coming out in the 60s, women's sexual... Uh, engagement with men became more like men you know we could work like men we could fuck like men and then of course in porn women are portrayed just like men and a lot of women have seen that and a lot of men expect that so the whole culture in Western societies has shifted towards you know women can't get pregnant with birth control they're liberated and they can have sex just like men but now the results are in and what the results really show is that women are not enjoying the sex that they're having in these casual encounters. And that is my experience as well. So I did, I was married 25 years and I was sexually very dissatisfied. I didn't cheat on my husband, but I thought about having sex with other people, usually women, because I didn't want to cheat on him. So when I came out of my marriage in uh, like almost 10 years ago, in my early 50s, I was hungry to explore sexually. So I did quite a bit of hooking up and I wrote a book about it. Uh, if you want to know the name of my book, um, on my Just For Fans, please send me a chat. On my YouTube channel, please um, leave it in the comments. And for my YouTube channel, I'll leave it in the comments. But I'm going to put this also on my Just For Fans. And so um, I thought, so I had, I had some wrong assumptions going into it that I think a lot of women have. I had some wrong assumptions that made me get into this um, casual sex, looking for casual sex, looking for men to have sex with. Um, first of all, what I was trying to do was explore my own sexuality, all right? But my incorrect assumptions were that men are like women, that all men would be nice to me the way my ex-husband was and my sons and my brother and my dad, that all men would be nice to me. I was very naive. And um, I didn't know how damaging it would be to me to have men just have sex with me and disappear. I didn't know they would do that. And every time it happened, I was very hurt and I was just trying to figure out how to deal with it because I thought this is our society. I should be okay with it. Everyone else is doing this. It's women's liberation. I didn't understand how damaging that was to me. I didn't know that my being hurt over it was normal and okay, that I should just stop doing it. I kept trying to figure out how I could be okay with having sex like a man. 
uh, I never did figure it out. And so after three years, I just stopped doing it. Uh, about a year ago, I tried again because um, at the time I was sexually active with, I'm going to call them admirers, benefactors. And I thought, well, those are arrangements. That's, you know, them choosing me and it's about them. What if I have sex with someone I'm choosing and making it all about me? Because that would be healthy for me sexually to be a little more vulnerable, more receptive and have someone be, this is what I like rather than what do you like because you're giving me a resource in return. I found this young man to, um, on Bumble and he was very nice. He was nice. I'm, you know, we agreed that we would just have this kind of casual thing. And after just two times of seeing him, I became extremely, uh, very traumatized. And it wasn't the way he was in bed. It was just the way he held me. I'm going to say that I'm, uh, I'm not, uh, over, I'm not an empath, but I'm not walled off. I consider myself maybe a little walled off. I could be more open as how I see myself. But he opened something in me, and when I texted him the next day and he didn't reply to me all weekend, my whole body felt traumatized. And so I decided, you know what? I'm not going to do this to myself. I'm not going to do this anymore. But so I just stopped, and I started really delving into what was that about for me? How is sex different for men versus women? I start really owning it. Because you see, a lot of women that are hooking up, they're really wanting a relationship. They're really wanting a relationship, but they push that down. And a second thing is they don't know how men are. They think men are like us. So a woman, uh, I'm not going to speak for all women, but I'm going to speak for the majority of women that I think are like me. Um... Okay, I think, well, I'm having sex with you because I like you. Because women, we have um, uh, a thin membrane between our left and, left and right brains. We have diffused awareness and we have a bigger emotional center. And we have a processing center in our brain that makes us very selective in which men we want. And so it's very, it's personal. When I have sex with a man, I pick you. Whereas for a man, women are interchangeable vaginas. You know, a guy will, most men, not all men, will have sex with, um, you know, just about any woman. It's not personal. As long as she says yes, he's down. So, so I don't, I didn't know that until just recently, actually, and I'm 60. So I think, okay. I like you, so I'm having sex with you. And if the sex is great, we'll see each other again. And we'll do it again. And it's nice. And it's not that way. And then for me, it's very traumatizing. It turns out to be very traumatizing. I think a lot of women who, who go around hooking up are either um, not aware of that or they've pushed it down or they think that they can get a man through sex or they um they were emotionally abandoned as children and so they go around having sex with men hoping it'll lead to more but not expecting anything first so it's coming from in general mostly i think women who will occur up are either drunk young and drunk or they're exploring after a divorce. They don't, they think men are like us. They really think a relationship will come of it. It's very rare for a woman to say, I just want to ride a dick and I'm good. That's very rare. Now, why is that rare? Let's talk about evolutionary biology. I know that we live in a modern age, but what we want and what we look for, what we eat, our sleep, like we're animals too. And we evolved to reproduce over millions of years. And yes, we have free will and all of that. But a woman instinctively knows she's weaker than the man. She instinctively knows she can get pregnant. 
uh, and so we have um, more to lose from a casual encounter like we know this and also sexually genitally we're very very different very very different because you see a man thinks that we are like him he sees it in porn there are their DTF in porn you know the woman the pizza boy delivers the pizza and the woman gives him a blowjob because she's so grateful for the pizza <laughs> men think this is real <laughs> They want to find a woman like that. The women who are like that, they're actually borderline personality disorder, those psycho crazy women. <laughs> so what a man experiences in his body is he gets, he has 16 times the testosterone of a woman and his body works differently. His genitalia are external. And from the time he's a little boy, it gets hard. He notices it. He has to hold it every time he urinates. And he develops this close relationship with his penis, which starts going very hard during puberty, where he wants to just fuck everything. And I think a difficult thing for men, and I have so much compassion for you guys, is how to channel that. So you're not just expecting women to take care of your own bodily needs how to channel that because it's a beautiful energy that you have i you know it's a beautiful thing god gave you and we want to celebrate that however you have to know that women don't operate in the same way so men get hard very easily and they have this hunger to be with the fem with the woman they have this physical hunger and if they're raised emotionally walled off they're just in tune with that physical hunger if they start watching a lot of porn, they never move beyond that physical hunger. Because deep down, every man also has feelings. Unless they were beaten out of him as a boy, or repressed out of him, or he grew up in an emotionally avoidant home, all he is in touch with is his physical hunger. And then when he's a woman, with a woman, he feels her softness, and he's actually able to feel something, to feel some emotion. And some men let themselves feel only during those brief minutes, and then they close up again emotionally. But a man has that, and a man also has that physical urge to release. It is not uncommon for men in puberty to masturbate five, ten times a day, in their early twenties to masturbate many times a day with no porn. It's just their body needing that release. It's all that testosterone. And women don't do that. <laughs> In fact, women don't hit their sexual arousal peak in, until their 30s. So men have this very strong need for sex, and they, unless they understand women and have empathy, they start accosting women sexually and just coming on sexually and forget that for women it starts in our hearts. But anyway, a man can get hard like this, and if they're older, maybe it'll take a minute of kissing. But they get hard very quickly. And they can ejaculate within a couple minutes. They can have intercourse and they can ejaculate. Through intercourse, a blowjob, a hand job, it's not that hard to make them come. Unless they're desensitized to porn or some medication they're on or some anxiety or whatever. For women, it's very different. Like I said, it's personal. And it should be because we can get pregnant. <laughs> Every Our brains know we can't get pregnant, but every cell in our being is programmed to I could get pregnant is this man going to be able to provide for me and a woman's body or our physiology is very different our our genitalia are internal we don't see them I remember as a little girl feeling so ashamed that I didn't have a penis that I had nothing there and a lot of women we don't look at our vulvas some women have never looked at their vulvas in a mirror can't see it looking down I can't see it you know and so it's this mysterious place and we're many of us are shamed for you know it we shouldn't do it with boys till we're married for a lot of women there's all shame around it we don't have that same comfort with it let's say and it takes us longer to get aroused see that the the clitoris is as big as the penis but it's internal I have a model of the clitoris on my wall. I'm going to show you. 
This is a, a print or a, a poster of a sculpture by the uh, artist Sophia Wallace. She has a project called Clitoracy. And the little nub at the top is the only part of the clitoris you see, the glands. And the rest of it, the, the wings and the bulbs, extend all the way back to the anus. It's the same mass of erectile tissue as the penis. All right? Most men make the mistake of going right for that little button. Don't do that. It's very sensitive. Um, you really should stimulate the entire clitoral area. Most men don't know this, unfortunately. So here I'm teaching you something. Now for a woman, arousal starts more in, in the heart, in the feeling center. Do I feel safe? Do I trust you? Do you have the features and the personality characteristics that turn me on? You know, are you touching me in a certain way? Women are not going to get aroused. Well, women can get aroused just seeing a penis. That's true. But their decision center in their brain, all the brakes come on. We have a thing called accelerators and brakes. And an accelerator could be, you know, I'm ovulating, I'm more horny, or I really like you, or our relationship is going really well, or I find you so attractive. But that doesn't mean we'll have sex, unlike a man, because we have brakes. And the brakes say, I could be judged, I could, he might disrespect me, you know, the kids are running around, I don't feel good in my body, um, you know, um, the dishes are left to be done, um, what if he leaves me, uh, you know, all these, all these, there are so many. <laughs> so you might want to read about accelerators and brakes. And the thing is, they say that a man is like a, a microwave and a woman is like an oven and it's really true. Another saying I like is that men you need sex to feel loved and women need to feel loved to have sex. So for a woman, unless unless she's emotionally walled off because of her trauma, childhood trauma, generally wants to feel some kind of appreciation or feel some kind of warmth from you or some feeling from you before she even wants you touching her or near her. And it takes us, our bodies, longer to get warmed up. It usually takes us longer to climax. And in hookups, the majority of women do not orgasm uh, because men uh, are often too rough. They don't know how to touch us. They're too selfish. They don't know how to give us that pleasure. And a lot of women have difficulty with orgasm. Some women have never orgasmed, even at my age. And um, they need more time to orgasm. Um, and so the physical pleasure isn't as much there for a woman. And also, I'm going to say we don't have that same need to release. It's very common for a woman to say, you know, usually a man will want sex because he wants a release. Is one of the, his need for release is, is a prime motivator for a man to have sex, even with his wife. But for a woman, the need for release isn't it. You know, it's more like, I, I feel this urge to have you inside of me. I feel this desire to connect with you. I want to bond with you emotionally this way. Because there are many times a woman will want to have sex with the man she cares about. And she can get a lot of pleasure out of it without an orgasm. As long as she feels his emotional closeness and bonding. Okay? So I can say that for myself, too, that there are many times when I've had sex with men where I felt very satisfied, even though I didn't have an orgasm. And I will say there are men who feel that way, too. They really enjoyed the experience. They didn't need an orgasm. Another reason that so friends with benefits isn't as good for me because, number one, I don't like it when a man just has sex with me and leaves. To me, that's very traumatizing. Whereas men who do it, they're like, I had a good time. You had a good time. What's the problem? So they don't understand. And I don't think this video can help you understand. I, maybe it can, but men who've been around women like me who are um, emotionally connected somewhat, <laughs> I think I'm still a little walled off, will know that women will usually say after after a few weeks of hooking up with a woman, a woman like me will say, where's this going? I want to see you more often. 
or after a few years, when are we getting married? You don't usually hear men say that. So we have that desire to connect when we're being sexual that a lot of men don't feel that desire. They can just release into a woman. Now, not all men um, and not men as they get older because this, this corpus callosum, it gets thinner and they also lose testosterone. So they become more uh, relational. They have more of a diffused awareness and they become more relational as they get older, which is really nice. And actually in women, supposedly it thickens. And so they can focus better. And I would say my sex drive really increased in my 50s. And, um, and I wanted to explore my sexuality. And I thought that I would, um, you know, as I was going around through my hookup phase, and that's all in my book, I thought I would uh, come across one man who I could just, who could become a regular sex partner like Betty Dotson found. Betty Dotson, uh, a feminist uh, sex educator who taught a lot of women about the clitoris, she ended up having this live-in sex partner, this much younger man. But I heard of other women who after their divorce, they met somebody else and they had great sex and all this. And I thought I would come across this myself, but I didn't. And for me, um, exploring my sexuality and feeling all the years my ex-husband told me no and gave me one minute quickies you know I was just so hungry to be like what's it like to have intercourse that lasts more than a minute what's it like you know can anyone even go down on me and make me come I had all these questions and they're in my book and I I was surprised that these guys would keep blowing me off of course I'm gonna say they were mostly in their early 20s that could be why did hook up with a few men that were a little bit older and I didn't really if the sex wasn't good I didn't want to see them again I really liked how the young men my ex-husband had very bad erectile dysfunction and most of our marriage the sex had been bad all along I never really got to experience like I had spent over 20 years not experiencing like an erect well I don't want to say too much on YouTube so I was really hungry to experience that, and I wanted to be with men who were very passionate. So I found, I found all that, but I found it. It was very sad for me, and I, I felt very sad. I felt hurt. Um. So I will say what, from the women that I know that have hooked up with guys, they'll do it because they really like the guy. So I'm speaking of women in their fifties and sixties. They. Probably, maybe most women, like women like me, the average woman, you know, uh, would have sex. I've I've seen women when I go out to bars, I have occasionally, they will just go home with guys because they're drunk. I'm not going to count that. Uh, and I know there are women who are sexually traumatized who just ride any cock carousel and they're fine with it. You know, thank you. This was a good time. Goodbye. So that's not really that's trauma reenactment or that's being drunk. I'm talking about women like me who are sober who would hook up. It's because they really like that guy and they're making two mistakes. They're making, the first mistake is not understanding the difference between men and women. That men can have sex and leave and women usually want a relationship. So be very honest with yourself, ladies, if you're listening to this. Like, are you gonna be okay having sex with this guy knowing that he could just leave? Have you established any emotional intimacy first? Are you rushing right into the physical? Because men and women are very different when it comes to sex, okay? And that's our evolutionary biology. And if they haven't developed empathy, which is the human spirit, if they haven't developed empathy and know that they can hurt you in this way, they will keep doing this. There are men who will just keep doing this. Um, usually men, the more advanced men by age 30 have figured out that women will want a relationship so they're not going to just go around hooking up but sometimes they might try but they eventually figure out that hey you know what i just hurt women when i do this i'm very sensual i'm good in bed they start liking me so i'm not going to do this anymore i'm tired of hurting women and that's maturity but some men never get that mature and so if you haven't um, developed any emotional intimacy and gotten to know this man, you don't know which type he is. You don't know if he cares about you. So women are jumping into bed with men with the ability to nourish them and cook for them and take care of them, thinking men are just like us. 
and then they're surprised that they're ghosted because they haven't vetted the man they're bonding too fast that's another mistake it's not understanding the dating process and that women are bonding too fast they're they're going to sex before sex really should be on the table and so this is why friends with benefits is bad for women again in my opinion is that a woman generally wants a relationship to go with her sex and unless she know unless she gets that just having a friends with uh, just having a hookup is emotionally painful uh, it can be traumatizing. I have cried over guys I hooked up with who blew me off. I've cried over them. It's in my book. And my sister kept saying, why are you hooking up with these guys if you're just crying over them? And I was just like trying to figure out how to navigate all this, um, this whole new world of men and um, finally having sex. I was trying to figure out how to navigate it and I didn't have any guideposts. But now I'm giving you guideposts based on what I learned because no one was talking about this. Ten years ago, people were just talking about how great it was to go around having sex with anyone. And now people are finally, I'm coming across material where women are talking about this. Like, I like men, I like sex, but this hookup culture, it's not good for me. It's damaging to me. I'm not made for this. I'm not like a man. And there is an author called Louise Perry who came out with a book in the UK uh, last month, which will be out in the US in um, August of 2022, called The Sexual Revolution, uh, where she speaks of this. And I'm just so anxious to read her book because it's everything that I've been saying as well. Um, the second reason would be that we uh, physically are not going to enjoy it as much. Physically, we're not as likely to have an orgasm. And for women, the sexual pleasure is magnified hundreds of times if, if we are emotionally connected with you and have a relationship with you. Hookup sex is like a McDonald's versus a big juicy steak. So the pleasure is so much less physically and emotionally and how we open because we have to open emotionally to let you in. Um... I know they're crazy women who do all kinds of crazy sexual things, but real sex is about opening and receiving. It's not about women performing and going through motions and doing crazy things to you. Um, it can be, but the real, uh, a feminine woman opens and surrenders uh, to a man. And when I have feelings for a guy or I'm in a relationship, sex is completely different. It's like uh, I'm just uninhibited, I'm free, and I'm in a whole, I'm in a, a different world. I'm transported to a different world. Whereas, you know, in hookup sex, it's, it's not the same. It's not the same for me. It's not the same for women. And we know this. And that's just me. And number three, we have much more at risk, uh, not just our reputations, but a lot of men devalue women who've hooked up. You men who want the hookup friends with benefits, but you devalue women who've done it. So you've created a double standard and women have bought into it. Uh, a high body count, a lot of men don't like that. So there is still shaming for women around it. There's a greater risk of pregnancy. There's a greater risk of STDs for women. Um, so for all those reasons, uh, friends with benefits don't benefit women at all. Women go around doing it because of cultural pressure, social pressure. They think they should. Feminine energy and feelings have been devalued. Masculine energy, doing, performing, being in the workplace has been exalted. And women watch porn. And so they think, you know, I should be like a man. I should act like a man. And not enough women are making videos like this saying, your body isn't like a man's. Your arousal process is slower. You have more feelings. You're the nourisher. You can bring all that with you into your sexual experience and decide when you're ready for sex and not give in to uh, a man who's pushing you for sex. And this is an important thing. A man who really likes you, ladies, is never going to bring up sex. He might touch, he might tell you you're beautiful. He might go, oh, wow, you look great. He might touch you on your shoulder, your lower back, but he's not going to bring up sex and he's not going to try to kiss you too quick. Why? He doesn't want to blow it. He doesn't want to blow it.
but and I got this from Alison Armstrong listening to her and she's so right but if there's nothing to lose if they have no emotions or they have nothing to lose or they're just going around trying to see where it you know throw darts and see where it lands they'll come out with wanting sex right out of the gate or if they know they're never going to date you anyway you know or if they're in emotionally walled off or incapable or disinterested so a man who um, is looking to a woman for something more than sex is going to take her out take her places she likes court her want to get to know her it's not starting with sex and um, but a lot of men are afraid of that kind of intimacy and vulnerability they're afraid. I don't know why. Um, it could just be our whole, you know, society. So um, I really am very much in touch with that. For me to want to have sex with a man, he has to offer me something of value. Um, generos generosity in resources or a generosity in relationship. And, um, you know, it is really a fair exchange. Why is it a fair exchange? Because, you know, a lot of times I was in my head. Women have sex with men fast because they're in their heads. Oh, I should give him sex. He wants sex. I want to please him. You know, men have sex right away. This isn't porn. And we don't really think about um, the importance of slowing things down and getting to know someone. I think that's super, super important. And um, throughout, I think we intrinsically know that our sexuality is of great value. I think women have forgotten how valuable our sexuality is. And it's something we're born with, which I know seems unfair to men. We're born with this, but it also makes us more vulnerable. And it makes us more responsible for pregnancy breastfeeding, nourishing our kids. Like we instinctively, even in dual professional households, the women do most of the child. We're born for that. We invest in that. So that's just how we're made. I can't explain it. You guys have more testosterone. It's easier for you guys to go out into the world and compete. You have more testosterone. We're just different. And we instinctively know that our sexuality is of great value. Why do you think that Courtesans and prostitutes have existed throughout time because men will pay for sex with their resources. Why is that? Why is that? I don't think women realize the value of their sexuality. We haven't taught women the value of their sexuality. That's another reason they're hooking up. They're giving it away too fast, not realizing the value because a man will pay hundreds of dollars or more for one hour of sex it's very rare for a woman to pay for sex why because she can get it easily but why again because a woman's sexuality is of greater value and this is what women don't get in hookup culture and this is what a lot of men don't get because the women who are hooking up easily are not women who are in touch with their femininity they don't understand their value and that's something that I've had to really learn is to slow things down and understand my sexual value. Because, again, pregnancy, we have more to lose. 98% of porn customers are men. They're paying for gay porn, straight porn. Men are the ones that have this greater need for sex. Women want sex too, but not so bad that they'll pay for it. They'd rather go without a man will pay for it. His desire for sex is greater. So a woman who is very easy uh, is not aware of her value. Not aware of her value. <laughs> so ladies, I get, uh, and I understand the hunger for feeling a man, for feeling a man inside of me and all that. I understand that, but I don't act on it. I don't act on it anymore because I understand all this now and that's why I make these videos I want men to understand this and I would like women to come more in touch with is there a part of me that feels this way too and how do I really feel around having sex 
in relationship with a man and what if I really go on what I feel and what I need because women don't stop to think about what they need they think this will just I don't know if they're not thinking ahead I don't really know who these women are who are hooking up so guys you'll have to tell me because I don't have any friends who hook up none of my friends hook up they want relationship sex and I have friends in their 20s all the way into their 60s they want relationship sex and they get very hurt if they have sex with a guy and he ne they never hear from him again. I thought we were going somewhere. I thought he was going to date me again. How many dates do I have to go on to make sure I'm not just uh, railed and bailed? You know, and that's why they'll wait to have sex. If a woman really likes a guy, she won't have sex with him right away because there's too much at stake and she doesn't want to lose him. She wants to make sure he's going to stick around. So she's testing him. Whereas if she doesn't give a shit, she might just hook up with the guy. That's what guys don't understand. But I don't. So if you guys know any women who hook up, I'm very curious about the profile of these women. Are they alcoholics? Are they just fresh out of a divorce? Are they emotionally walled off? Were they sexually traumatized? I can't for the life of me think of any situation in which a woman like me who... Uh, wants to go through life embodied and present and um, you know who's into personal development and loves herself will go around bouncing on dicks like that's a fantasy in porn so I'm gonna make keep making videos like this I maybe make some shorter ones or something I don't know but I want to hear from you guys I want to hear what you think and I'm gonna call this video why F WB is a bad deal for women. But I want to make it in a way, I don't want people to think that I'm really like down on it, on sex. Like I don't want to come across like a religious fanatic. I want to come across as, you know, ladies. <laughs> this is the other side of hookup culture. Maybe that's what I'll call it. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. Um, thank you so much for watching my video and please leave your comments. I'm so interested in what you have to say.